So welcome to Saint Spell. Love God to the magical student spell book. So I've already low key started this game because I saw another YouTuber play it. She's dope. I'ma link her YouTube channel below. You feel me? You know. And I'm a period. Period. I'm not gonna hold you. I I definitely completed two stories already. Just because I wanted to try it out. And I was like, this would be like funny as fuck if I did like a YouTube video. I don't know. It's like magical. It's about witchcraft. It's about astrology. Like they have astrology classes on here. They have like potion classes on here. I don't know. I just feel like this is my vibe. But it's also a love thing. Like I'm a high key just sitting here trying to find my husband for real. Or, or my wife. My partner to be. You feel me? I'm going thoughtin', plotting, and trotting. Yeah, I'm like honestly treating this like a dating game and I'm just trying to see how many people I can get. Ho life or no life. I'm trying to get in with all the nerds. So I'm gonna do everything with ology and everything that sound like smart as fuck. So cryptozoology, okay per. Practical 101, yep, I, I need them stock market niggas. I need them stock market niggas. We're gonna do study of malediction. Yep, yep, yep. I need a Monday class. Okay, let's do a history. Let's do a history. Ew, why is the history class all the way at the end? Okay, whatever. Wh I'm whatever. trying to fuck with the girls and the guys. I'm not even gonna hold you. I'm trying to make my rounds. <laughs> I'm trying to make my rounds around this place. You know what I'm saying? There's only three things I care about. Heartbreaking, paper making, and ass shake. Pimp out. I should get ready for tomorrow. Yeah, you should. Are you not gonna tell me about this freaking dorm I just joined? I don't know anything about it. You make your way down the halls of the Grand Conservatory with a fluttering heart. <laughs> <laughs> the new student welcoming community worker work kindly greets you, helping you back to your dorm. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Yo, that's dope. House of Regulus, may the stars guide us. Words of House Regulus. Oh, so that's that's our that's our quote. May the stars guide us. I fuck with that, you know, following the North Star. I look I look, I live in delusion, so this ain't nothing to me. <laughs> you may say I'm a dreamer. So you'll be joining Regulus High Hair. I'll tell you a little bit about the house. Oh let's get into it. Recently resurrected, House of Regulus is home to those devoted of rekindling the bonds between Earth and Alternia? Alternia. 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 <laughs> between the bonds of Earth and Alternia. Punishing crimes of war and building a new hope for the future. Oh, so these are the Libras. <laughs> The house of the Libras. Okay, I got you. My Libra Mercury finna love it here. All right, students of Regulus focus their, oops, excuse me. Students of Regulus focus their studies on leadership, diplomacy, politics, law, and justice. Like you can't tell me this is not the Libra house. You can't tell me this is not the Libra house. Shout out to the Libras if you're watching. It was students of Regulus who were first charged with protecting and conserving the great gates of the realm. Oh! oh. And students of Regulus who first supported peace between humanity and anima. Okay, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, we love the human rights here. Like, we love the activists of the community. We love it, yeah. Regulus students make their home in the historical Crown Planetarium, best known for its former glory as an astrology lab before falling unused after the canvas expanded. Oh, uh, how is gonna be a witch shoot? Like, wait, pause. How is gonna be a witch school, but they're not using the freaking astrology lab? Like, don't most witchcraft, isn't it like practice based off the stars and the moon and the planets? So wouldn't you need the lab to see those things? So how the fuck was y'all doing spells? I don't know. Who the fuck am I to tell you? Like, who the fuck am I to tell y'all how to do y'all job? You know what I'm saying? Like, let me shut the fuck up. But that don't make no sense. <sighs> mm. Okay. 
It was built with the aid of anima uh, magicians whose powerful nature sorcery created the planetarium's enchanted ceilings and walls which glow from the projections of the Altana heavens. That's dope. Imagine looking outside and you just see the galaxy. Like, oh my God, my coochie with cream. What did he say? The Grand Boyard is most popular among students. A large circular room displaying a high doom ceiling reflecting the skies across the realms. The common location for the scattered pillows and blankets ready for all night study sessions. I mean, yeah, like, I'm sorry. Like, imagine you're in a room, right? Studying, studying, and you look up. It's a high ass ceiling and boom, it's all the planets and the moons and the stars. Like, oh my God, I want to cry. Like, <laughs> I would actually study if I was in a place like that. Oh my God, I'd bring my little tea, my little blankets and bundle ups. I'm sorry, I'm already disassociating into the story. Like, come on now, bring me here. At present, regular students are welcome to take up residence in any of the planetarium's old rooms most of which remain outfitted with their own stargazing windows. Oh, I would be mad. I'm not even gonna hold you. I would be mad if I was the only bitch who got a room without a stargazing window. The way I'm complaining, like y'all not finna do that to me. I don't care if I have to have a roommate. Y'all gonna give me my motherfucking window. Anyways, the house hell dry is a black rose. Oh. And students wear deep ebony crests on formal dress days. Oh, okay. Okay, oh, wait, hold on. So, oh, wait, so there, okay, I know what a herald dry is, I, I looked it up. So if you don't know what that is, it's basically like a house symbol. So their house symbol is a black rose, and then on like fancy occasions, they dress golf as fuck. Like, Galileo! Galileo! Galileo, Galileo Figaro! Manilica! as fuck like i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i fuck with my group i fuck with my group they wear all black and on fancy days they pull out their jesus pieces flip them upside down and paint it black that's not some gangsta ass shit to you since it's getting late i'll let you get checked in now welcome to regulus thanks boo reaching your dorm room you begin to settle in okay you can't wait to see what saints okay whatever let's go like let, let let's come on now i'm here for the hoes Let's get to the hoes. Today is Monday, and I do have some free time until my next class, so what should I do? Oh, see, like the intelligence one is it's like point one now. I feel like it's because I'm an intelligent like type of dorm, so I have to be a little intelligent to get in. But anyways, so what am I gonna do with my free time? Um, Like I said, I'm here for the nerds, so I'm finna go to the library. <laughs> What you mean? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. You know what we finna do? We finna study. Yeah, yeah, real studious. That's how you attract all the nerds. You gotta be cute and steady, and they gonna fit like, man, you gonna look up and everybody looking at you. That's how you get the nerds, that's how you get the nerds. You gotta look cute and steady, right, right, right? And then, here's the, here's the catch that a lot of girls don't get. You gotta approach them. I know it sounds crazy, it sounds freaking crazy. I would never do it personally. I don't like approaching people. But with nerds, you gotta approach them because they're not gonna approach you, especially if you're attractive. So, you know, so here's my plan. Here's my game plan. I'm finna study, right? I'm gonna see who approached me. You know, if somebody approached me, they approach me. I can't stop you from approaching me. But I'm gonna be extra nice to the person who approaches me just in case, like, if there is a, like a hot nerd looking at me from a distance, he's like, oh, like, she's really nice. Like, I should get to know her. I'm like, yeah, 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 right in my trap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You saw me being nice to this person. Now you think I'm nice. Yep. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. I, I got a plan. Don't even worry. The cozy atmosphere helps you focus on your work. For the history of magic. You feel your intelligence increasing. Only one point. You feel like a better student. Okay. Okay. Because I played this before, I know that these like points matter. So like, if I wanna like, say I wanna give somebody like a study session, I would have to have high intelligence levels and high levels of being a good student. I don't know exactly when it becomes high or low, but I know I need to be like a high level to do that. So I'm definitely trying to build up my intelligence and my good student for this episode because I'm trying to fuck with the nerds. Like I told you, like I'm trying to, I'm trying to bag a nerd. 
So we're going to focus on that. But what I'm trying to get with the bad boys, I'm probably going to build up my charismatic or my charisma. Build up my charismatic. Bitch, what? Build up my charisma and my strength and my bad. So I don't know. I never did bad. Like, that's one thing I will say. Every single time I played, I've been like pretty much a good student. I don't think I've ever did anything bad. Maybe that's what I should have started with. Nah, 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 nah. We're we going to start with the nerds first. We're going to get that money first. Okay. I got more free time. Um, shit. Okay, I guess I'm gonna go over here. The classroom, you know, that's where the nerds be too. You know, study. You gotta study. Yeah, yeah, you know, I just work really hard and I like really care about studying. Yeah, I have like big goals and like big dreams. No, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely not just sitting here doodling on my desk. I'm like, no, yeah, I'm paying attention. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah, you know, like, on my free time, I like I like study, you know. Most girls, you know, they just want to be on TikTok and, you know, flicking the bean, you know, you know. That trashy, slutty things, but I'm the type of girl, you know, I'm not like other girls. I study. I'm, like, so different, like... <laughs> You know, some girls just sit on their games and their computers all day and they just like talk to themselves. But me, I open up books and I read. So yeah, you should fuck with me. <laughs> A clown. <laughs> I don't know anyone well enough to eat lunch with them. Well, yeah, like, you try to find a place to sit down and try not to look too much like a loner. What do I do? I have more free time, bro? When is my class? Okay, let's go to the garden. Hopefully that's where people are at. Like, I don't know. I need to build my strength. Well, I got zero strength. Okay, yeah, like, can I get to class so I can see the hoes? Fuck. Finally! I have history and magic, let's go. Yes, please. Thank God. Who would I like to approach? Um, oh, this is a tricky one. Who, okay, let me let my intuition guide me. Who's gonna make a good first episode? Who should I fuck with? I'm getting him vibes. What's up with you? He got like antlers or some shit. While sending a chill down your spine, a random entity flies past your head. By the time you turn around, it's no longer in sight. What? Did something big just oh there's something big just <laughs> oh wait you suppose this kind of circumstance is quite normal around here i mean shit i will never get used to a fucking ghost flying around me i'm sorry i'm cool off that there are some others around but it doesn't seem like they noticed anything I hear a slushing around, oh, I hear a slushing sound from nearby and turn to see a pair of glistening yet cold eyes staring at you. He places his finger in front of his lips, signaling you to remain silent. What the fuck is happening? When you look more closely, you realize his expression is that of pleading. Ooh, not you begging. <laughs> okay, anyway. Please. <laughs> Please, be quiet for a bit. Nodding, you keep your head silent. Oh, nodding, you keep silent. Slowly understanding the situation when a spirit floats past. What's more, the spirit looks angry. Oh, not too much. Now you're getting chased by spirits. What the fuck did you do to them? As the spirit floats further away, you face the person in question properly, raising an eyebrow in curiosity. Yeah, what the fuck is wrong with you? It seems like he catches a sig catches on to the signal, unlike a moment ago. He's now looking everywhere but at you. Um, I don't like that. Your attention should always be on me, sweetheart. Period. Always. I don't care if you're fighting for your life. Look me in the eye. Um, though curious, you figure that he doesn't want to stare. Or he doesn't need to share if he doesn't want to. Fuck that. I want to know. However, eventually he climbs out of his hiding spot. Pardon me for my rudeness. Thank you for keeping my cover. I mean, yeah, it's fine. Okay, yeah, it's fine. I'm also gonna call him weird. Why would I call this man weird? If I'm trying to get some, you know what I'm saying? Like, why would I call him weird if I'm trying to get in his pants? Like, no. No, you're fine, sweetheart, you're fine. Nothing you're doing is wrong. Like, I'm here to serve you. What you mean? Yeah, it's fine. Cause I'll be there for him. 
with open arms, and open legs, and an open mouth. You don't have to explain your situation if you don't want to, by the way. Whoa, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. I do want him to explain his situation. His eyes glisten again when he hears that. This time they aren't as cold as before. Oh, he liked that. You like that, don't you? Yeah, hold on. Matter of fact, let me act more nonchalant. <laughs> I ain't finna cap. I became very nonchalant. But this is what y'all wanted, right? To me not give a fuck? Well, congratulations. Now, I really don't give a fuck. What are you talking about? Real nonchalante. <laughs> he lets out a small laugh as if he's finally released some pent up tension. Ooh, I made you laugh. <laughs> you know what comes next. <laughs> Nonetheless, thank you. I'm Hugh. I'm Hugh. Hey, Hugh. Hold on. Okay, now that I got your name, let me see what that hype about, though. Okay, six foot. Oh, he a dragon. Oh, I kind of like that. Hold on. <laughs> All right. Sorry that we had to like, oh, sorry that we had to meet in such a informal situation. Hold on. Let me say this because last time this shit completely loaded out. And I want to say this because it's the first nigga I've ever met. Okay, so this finna be Hugh's love story timeline. Like, he said he's locked in. Okay. My next victim. A straight white man. <laughs> Sorry that we had to meet in such an informal situation. It's okay. You can always see me again. What are you talking about? Like, you will see more of me. What do you mean? I'll see you next lunch. No apologies needed, Hugh. I'm Luna. Yeah. You're cut off as a dragon animal suddenly turns his body away. Oh. Okay, not you being fucking rude. I mean, I'm, I'm willing to do some shameful things for what I want, but I'm not about to sit here and get ignored. You're going to turn your ass around and talk to me. Period. Oh, okay. That makes sense. You turn around as well to see the angry spirit again. It probably heard your conversation. Look, oh, cock block. You see me spitting game. You see me spitting game, and the first thing you're gonna come do is like ruin it. Man, if you don't mind your angry ass business, I'm trying to get some play. Like, what are you talking about? Ugh. I'll see you around. No. <sighs> he speaks in a calm and cool manner, as if he is being chased by a vengeful creature. You're impressed. Oh, so he a bad boy. Okay, interesting, interesting, interesting. I'm wondering if he's going to fit the path I'm trying to go on right now. I mean, if it comes down to it, if I notice that the bad boy is hitting a little different, I'm going to start fucking with them. I'm going I'm to throw all this good girl shit away and fuck with them, honestly. After his goodbye, he dashes away as quickly as he's entered the scene. <sighs> I hate to see you go. But I love to see you walk away. The large dusty tone the professor pulls out looks like it could be a part of the history itself. Ooh. Today we'll briefly delve, delve into alternate. Uh, do I really feel like going through? Okay, look. If I post this and people are like, you need to stop skipping through the word things. Like, I want to read them. Then I'll start reading them. But I don't care about class. I'm here for the hoes. Like, this is completely stopping me for what I came here for. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. <laughs> I'm already knowing how people gonna be mad at me for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't come here to read. I came here to have sex, okay? Like, nothing else. It's not after school hours, extracurriculars, and non session. Oh my god, what club should I join? Okay, okay, I did say I'm trying to fuck with the nerds. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Is it like a library club? I don't know, what do nerds do in their free time? Let's do work study at the- <gasps> Oh yeah, let's do work study, let's do work study. Because if I do work study at the library, right? Right, 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 right? I'll literally see 
all the nerds and I'll know exactly what times they come in and you know what books they are typically looking for so then I can get a general idea of what classes they take hold on uh <laughs> I get a general idea of like what classes they take and like what they like schedule is so I can just conveniently find myself <laughs> where they're supposed to be. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> okay. Work study it is. You mindlessly shove away books in alphabetical order and your hands is the three trolls and the mallet. Dope. You feel like a good student. Ugh, that's it. Okay, here come one of the hoes. <laughs> Hello, you must be new around here. I sure am, Claire. Are you trying to show me around for real? Come on. My name is Claire. Nice to meet you. Hey, boo. I'm sure it can be a little overwhelming being a new student around here, but feel free to ask me about little things you don't understand. What's tea? What you know? Or even about people? Claire. Claire. We're all generally friendly around here, so there's no need to worry. Claire a little messy. Claire is a little messy. She said, you can ask me anything, even about people, I know it all. She's either a Libra or a Gemini. The only reason why is because, I would say a Libra only because she came up ready to talk shit, but she made it seem like it was so nice. Like she made it seem like, oh, I'm not talking shit, like I'm just sharing information. A Gemini, Man, a Gemini will come up to you like, girl, guess what so-and-so said about so-and-so? And I'm be like, what? That's crazy. Like, a Gemini about, not about to sit there and act like they being nice. Like, no, they just going to tell you the tea and move on. She over here trying to act like she doing the world a favor by being messy. Um, I would say tell me about the houses, but I'm literally just going to go around every single house. So we can find out about that later. Let's learn about Eleni. Uh, Eleni is quite the character. See, look at her, ready to talk shit. You just said everybody was friendly. Anyways, she doesn't mince words, and she can come off uh, a little bit of a bitch. A little bit of a bitch. But in my opinion, that's also because she's passionate about the things she's interested in. Oh, okay, you see. Okay, maybe she's not being a complete messy whore. Maybe she is just giving me information. But best believe, Claire, I'm not telling you a single thing about myself. What? Like, how do you approach me? I'm a new student. The first thing is, oh, you got, you want to know the, like, the whole latest goss on all the students? Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, you didn't even tell me about yourself before you started talking about somebody else. I don't like that. Anyways, she's a fan of interesting magic and extremely curious to boot. To boot what? Did I read that wrong? She's a fan of interesting magic and is extremely curious to boot. Nope, what the fuck does taboo mean? If you meet her, there's a chance you'll meet her partner, Siri, too. Damn. Who's Siri? <sighs> okay, I'm not trying to meet her. I'm not trying to fuck with no relationship. Look, look. I'm not trying to meet nobody in a relationship. Why are y'all even here? Go home. Like, I'm here for the hoes, and y'all not one of the hoes. I don't even want to hear about them. Any next, next. Let's talk about RVEE. -E. RV. Oh, she's the RA of the House of Followers. I haven't personally met her, but from what I've seen, she's responsible and kind hearted. Okay. She seems to have to carry everything on her shoulders, though. Yikes. Be nice to her, okay? I'm screaming. <laughs> she's nice, but she's stressed out, so leave her the fuck alone. I got you. I got you. Anybody else? Let, let me know about Luca. What's up with Luca? Have you ever heard of the Michaelitis? Is that some type of disease? Luca is adopted. <laughs> Luca is an adopted son of theirs. Not that that's all too important, though. Ah ha ha, huh? Luca must got money. <laughs> Luca must come from a rich family or something because that don't make no damn sense. Talking about some. Have you heard of the Michael ladies? No, I haven't heard of the fucking Michael ladies. What the fuck is that? But the fact that that family name is like supposed to be known. Yeah, nah. Luca got some money. I'll be honest, it's a little hard to talk to him if you're not persistent. Interesting. I'm always up for a little challenge. I mean, come on here. I'm trying to fuck with everybody, so Luca, you are on my hit list. You think you're shy now? <laughs> you won't be when it come to me. I know that's right. <laughs> He's a mystery, but if you try to approach him, there's a chance he'll be interested. Interesting. 
be interested in me. How could you not be? Now, come on now. Did you want to know any about anything else? Um, let me know about yourself. Yeah. What, what's up with you? <laughs> I'm not all too interesting. Did you want to ask about someone else? See, nah, I knew I couldn't trust Claire. I knew I couldn't trust Claire. Because how you got no information on yourself, but you got all this background information on everybody else? You're weird. You're weird for that. Get out of my face, Claire. Bye. I'm okay. Thanks. Bye. Oh, you have no more questions? If that's all, I'll be, but I'd best be on my way. Yeah, get out of my face. You're not going to get no information from me. Weirdo. But before I forget, why did it sound like that? But before I forget, let me congratulate you on your admission to St. Spell. My little stars light your way. And I hope you have a wonderful day. That's what she should have said, but she ain't got no bars, so. <laughs> and then she's gone. Fuck her. Like, I'm real cool off her. Sorry. How tall is she? That's like some 411 energy right there. Like, how you will come up to me talking shit, and then as soon as I ask you about yourself, it's, oh, I don't know. There's nothing to learn about me. Ooh, hold on. She got a fine. <laughs> Moving on. Was this her, Claire? She 5'2. Close enough to 411. What house is she a part of? <gasps> She's a part of my house, the Black Roses. Dope. Dope. And she's a witch. She's 20 years old. Okay, okay, okay. So I already guessed the zodiac sign of her. Who was the guy I met? Was it this dude? Okay, yay. Oh, he's also part of my gang. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so I got a feeling I'm not supposed to be going on this good girl path with the black roses. I have a feeling that's not what I'm supposed to be doing. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Well, I'm trying to fuck with him, high key. Like, I'm high key trying to fuck with him. He 20 years old, I'm 20 years old. He's six foot, I'm 5'4". I think it's a match made in heaven. <laughs> He's a dragon, I have a dragon tattoo. Like, come on now. So I think I'm gonna try to fuck with him. Um, He seems like a bad boy. I don't know, I'm gonna try to eat lunch with him tomorrow and like really get into his character. But I don't know, I'm trying to guess his zodiac sign, but I literally only spoken to him for like two seconds. But the, for the simple fact that he was just getting chased by ghosts and like was acting like that shit was casual, he has to either be a Scorpio or something. Like, I feel like only Scorpios do that shit. Like, be doing wild ass shit and then want to <laughs> sit there and act like everything's okay. But like, they're visually bothered by it, but not vocally. I don't know. So now the evening, you have some free time before the day ends. Dope. Um, what should I do? I guess I should make lunch. Or food. Should I steal food or cook something? I don't know what the fuck they cook. What if I steal it and it's gross? You nearly set off the fire alarm, but at least it tastes good. Fuck them fire alarms. I set off too many fire alarms in college. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, my charisma went up. Okay. Is that it? No way they got these niggas mixing food with a fucking stick. Anyways, that's how, that's how fucked up college really be. Like, they will have you literally making food in one big ass pot and give you a stick as a utensil and then charge you like a thousand dollars for fucking tuition. Like, over a thousand, like a hundred thousand dollars for tuition. Today is Tuesday, day of Mars, day of action. So, you know what we finna do? Yeah, get that booty. You say never let me 